Wuffles here, guys. How are you doing? Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. Glad to have you on board. Uh, let's get right into this. So what is Deep? If you haven't uh, watched other series, uh, the other episodes, it's basically a series where I look into a part of my gameplay, you know, maps, killstreaks in depth for the advanced player. So let's jump right into it. Uh, on the top, you see I'm Spetsnaz. That's very important as I do use Turtle Beaches and I will be sound whoring. Uh, so I need to know what my team is so that I can know when I hear someone scream out, you know, planting Claymore, I know that's not my team. Uh, because that's clearly, you know, the American side. That's not Spetsnaz. So let's keep an eye on that. Uh, that's Kirby, my emblem. When you see my emblem on my gun, it usually means I'm tryharding because I only have my, uh, my my emblem on my tryhard classes. And I have Scavenger Pro, Slide of Hand Pro, and Tactical Mask Pro. I'm sure you guys know why I use those three perks, and I really don't need to get into it. All right, so check out that golden gun. Ooh, delicious. All right, so first off, just for those ragers out there, this is the objective. Capture the flag and defend the flag. It makes it very clear at the beginning of the games for those who don't read or don't know this. And this is me doing the objective. Proof right there that I'm gonna win for my team. Um, I just need to put this in there just for those rage faces out there who wanna go like, F you, you're not playing the objective, blah, blah, blah. That's why you go 70, 72 and 12, I think I went. All right, this is two minutes into the game and this is the kill streak I chose. Let's get right into it. So right here, this guy uh, comes into my view, but he's sprinting to the right. And I know that if I'm aiming down my sights, I won't be able to get at him. So if, and I use a three sensitivity, that's two to four sensitivity, you won't be able to. So I uh, I don't aim down my sights, I kind of hit fire him, and that allows me more movement uh, and more panning to the right. Okay, uh, next part of my kill streak is right over here, where two people come running at me like idiots uh, with their chickens with the head cut off. So what do I have to do? Well, uh, I want to kill them both. But the second I shoot, they're probably going to realize I'm there. And uh, they're both using S. SMGs, uh, as I realize that now as I, I freeze the clip, but basically I'm making a split second decision and I talk about this a lot in killstreaks because this is very important. I'm making a split second decision on who I want to shoot first and I'm sure you can realize you, know, you want to shoot the person to your left first and that's probably what I should have done in this situation. Um, but you know, for my for my benefit, I was I was in the mood, I, I was I was in the groove in the move, and I was able to pick off the right guy and then quickly move over to the left guy, uh, picking up a nice double tap. So uh, check out, boom! So straight to the left. I knew my surroundings. I knew exactly what was going on, and I kind of planned that out way before I even shot them. Uh, here I'm able to pick up a nice triple piece. This is a great place on Stadium. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details of it, but uh, it's a very great great spot. All right, so over here you can see I've highlighted a place in the top left and a place to the right. Um, when you're when they're spawning in this A side, they're gonna come out from two areas, over to the right or over in the stadium. So you gotta be careful people don't flank you from the right side and always keep an eye on what's happening in the stadium. As you can see, a couple people up there on that, on that balcony um, and they can easily kill me. So this is a difficult area to hold down, but it's great. Look at this view you get all over A. Uh, I definitely recommend this place. As you can see, my green arrows are way far behind, and I know I'm all alone, and I am happy. So let's see what I do. Make sure that in any kill streak, you kind of do uh, a pendulum swing motion, and this is what I, I, I definitely would like to preach to you guys: is this kind of pendulum uh, movement, and it, it's kind of like it's not really an advanced thing, but I mean, if you are an advanced player, this is what you should be doing. Uh, you have no excuse for staying in the same spot. Uh, static. You want to stay. You want to stay moving at all times. Uh, it makes it a lot harder to get naded. It makes it a lot easier to use your concussion and flashbang uh, grenades and so on and so forth. All right. Uh, this is also a very important part of my kill streak because I do something wrong. But I consider, you know, the, the possibility that this guy's going to follow that black arrow uh, as black arrow's path as black arrows um, indicate enemy movement. And I'm reloading, so I'm gonna move over to my left. However, I take a quick look at my minimap because I have a blackbird up and I would love to abuse it, that I see uh, a couple things on my minimap that don't make me too happy. I know there's people behind me at C and B, so they're gonna be coming from behind me. I also know that I have this guy charging me on my right side, but what's really scary is those things I just highlighted in the top left as I slowly zoom in. Uh, these two guys right there are probably gonna ca cause a lot of problems. You're gonna see one of them shoots me, and I really have to be careful for that. So I'm stuck in a bit of a dilemma here as I'm getting pinched by all these players. So let's check out what I do. And that little rat had the AK-74U and he took me out. Uh, I guess he got the better of me there. I, I give him a nice little for his uh, superior play than mine. Anyways, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little deep series. I definitely look forward to making a lot of more of, the, of these videos. I really enjoy it. I like giving tips and tricks, and I've been told uh, to do this more often. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, take it easy.
Thank <laughs> you. 